Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. In this video, I want to talk about a technology that Sigma, Blackmagic, and even Panasonic have implemented and has revolutionized video camera industry. Now for Sony, Canon, Nikon, and even Fujifilm, they have not implemented it yet. And if they don't, I think they're really going to fall behind. Let's talk about it right now. Alright, so what is the technology I'm talking about that Sigma FP, Blackmagic Pocket 4K and 6K, as well as the recent camera developed from Panasonic, the S5 2X, that have implemented this technology into their system? Well, I'm talking about ability to record directly into these type of drive. This is the uh, M2 SSD drive, as well as this one here, the Samsung T5 or T7 or this SSD standard drive. The reason why this is so important because you can have a fast transfer and fast recording and high quality video. I'm talking about raw video. For example, CD and G format or a Brawl format or the ProRes RAW format, whatever it may be, using a SSD, you can be transferred directly to that. And because these hard drive, SSD drive, are very fast, it can handle quite well. And the most important, of course, is that it's very cheap. For example, recently I got this type of M2 drive, and uh, I think it's from Lexar. A two terabyte cost me about $140 Canadian. That's incredible. Like this small thing, I can hook up to my Sigma, as you can see here. Okay, I just have to figure out how to attach it, but you can see I attach it to my Sigma and I can record my raw C DNG directly to that camera. And it cost me only 140 bucks for two terabyte. Now, let's talk about Sony. Sony also have their CF Card Express Type A and for 160 gig, okay? Not two terabyte, 160 gig, it costs $500. Okay, think about this for a minute. Two terabyte, $140, 160 gig, $500. I did the calculation, that would be 45 times more expensive to use a Sony C Express Type A storage than the uh, SD drive from these type of drive. Okay, now it's a little bit bulky, of course, and you can put into the camera, but let's say you have something like this. Isn't bad, right? I mean, it's not uh, that big. It's just about right if you know how to attach to your camera, and it's pretty light. And because it's uh, ability, this one actually is a casing, so I can actually put a variety of SSD M2 drive in here. I could put in the uh, 500 gigabytes, which only cost me around $40, $50, or I can do two terabyte or up to four terabyte, which Four terabyte right at this point, I think it's over maybe $200. But still, compared to the Sony CF Express Type A, that's 160 gig, very small storage, and it costs $5. Can you do that with uh, Sony four terabyte? I don't think so. Well, with this technology, it's readily available. You can switch it anytime, and you can replace it anytime. Very cheap and very fast. And on top of that, if you're going to use a Sony CS Express Type A, you would need a special adapter to be able to read that in, or write that into your computer. Okay, so if you think about the advancement of this type of SSD drive, it, I believe it's gonna be uh, the standard, the industry standard for video cameras going forward. So Sigma FP has been doing this for a while now using you know, a, a compatible um, SSD. This is the Samsung T5 and also T7 as well, the more current one. And I was able to test on the uh, standard SSD drive and it works as well. And also this new one that I currently uh, bought, this is actually a third party uh, casing, the M2. I was able to put Lexa M2 drive in here up to four terabyte, but currently I have a 500 gigabytes and the two terabyte. So 
it is amazing that technology has gone this far and it has been so cheap. Sony, um, I think, is going to fall behind if they continue on to follow their standard using CF Express Type A. Most people cannot afford that type of drive. $5 for 160 gig. I mean, if you want to do that with your money, that's great. But for most people, if they can pay like 2 terabyte for $140, that's just incredible. And because this is a standard USB-C, you can connect directly to your computer without a special uh, adapter. And you can transfer uh, data to your computer very, very fast. I was able to transfer to my Asus computer that is the latest i7 12th generation with a very good GPU. That computer, for example, having the SSD drive in there, I transfer information from this drive to the SSD. It was around 500 to almost one gigabyte per second that's been transferred to the, the computer. And that is super fast. Compared to the standard SD, it's uh, like 30 megabytes per second. See the difference? It's a huge difference. And I, I'm pretty sure the CF Express card can do similar, maybe faster than this SSD type of drive, but like 45 times the cost, uh-uh. That's just not acceptable. In fact, I suspect that in the future, uh, your video, you know, pro uh, professional video camera will have some form of SSD drive uh, slot built in so you can just attach the uh, M2 drive into it and then you can record uh, pretty much a very high quality raw footage. And that I would say is advancement of video camera technology. I'll talk more about this uh, type of drive implementing into the newer camera. This is why I'm kind of hesitant on purchasing a new video camera because I have a feeling in the next five years or even less that this will be the standard in a lot of this video camera. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. And please do give me a little heart of appreciation. Bye.